Three and four, that's more our speed. So if we lose, we probably will. It's not nearly as good. It's actually a pretty bad <laughs> for it to be rounds three and four. If we fight any of these four people, we can't win. And we're unfavored against him. What's the best what's the best side job for turns three and four? Probably Elixir, right? Definitely gonna run back Elixir then, I think. The painter? I think Elixir's gotta be better. Oh god. This is a Cloud Sword board. These are all Cloud Sword cards. Sword Slash is a Cloud Sword card. This would search as Thunder Drift onto. Nice. <laughs> what the hell? That's pretty cool, actually. Break through, use your one luck to make sure you hit Thunder Trip so you can build a broken board. We will have at least three luck. Maybe four? I would say we're much more likely to have three than four, though. Unless we find a lot of juice on this next this next turn and we don't fight like Jiang Shimei. I mean, our board is pretty solid, it's just it's not as good as a Heaven Star board. Well, we are fighting a Heaven Star. Well, recovery Elix is probably worse than these cards. Not giving me much to work with. I am definitely losing. <laughs> this is not gonna not gonna be good. I also can't really go first. Hmm. I don't wanna eat these cards, given I'm gonna lose anyway. Pretty middling. Yeah. Shining is a weak card. The board is odd. The board is odd, but it's gonna be good enough. I think. Yeah, just barely. If the first Palm Thunder low rolled, we might get there. Alright. Now we have to do it again. <laughs> now we have to fight another Wootsa. People did say this would be annoying. Unfortunately, they seem to be correct. I'm annoyed. It's a slightly better elixir. Uh, what here is not good. Fletch Earth, I guess. Okay, Fletch Upgrade is good. As far as boards that can't beat Wutsu go, this one's not the worst. Alright, well, we fought double Wutsu. Which is not ideal. What is not terrible? Maybe we're okay here. 
she's not. Just going second here is rough. Please. Okay, okay. I thought I thought we had to survive the the roll on this, but it's okay. We have four. Okay. We can't miss with four. Right. No way we can miss with four. We're 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 golden. We're gonna find We're gonna find the happy man and his hungry dragon. as much I want to do. Took Epiphany on two, so it's going first. Catgirl bounced after she lost her two fate fights. <laughs> Understandable. You know what? That's a mood. <laughs> Just piecing out as soon as you get to round five and you've lost both of your uh, both, both of your destiny board fights. Honestly, I, I respect that. So I have... Hmm. I'm back at that question of when do I roll? Because now I have four. Which gives me a few to spend on both tier and uh, tier three and four if I want it. Oh, I lose because... Oh, I don't know. Okay. Man, I'm terrible at predicting when I lose. Rolling on three is pretty tempting. Rolling on one is... I think I'm still rolling on four. And I'm just gonna press this button again. Those cloud swords again. Huh. Because if I... I don't need Mad Obsession if I find... the cloudiest dragon. Right. That makes sense to me. I, I think because it makes sense to me, I'm going to do it. That way we at least have two things that we're rolling for. Yeah, 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 yeah. He eats clouds. The man eats clouds. <laughs> hmm, fascinating. Well, Cloud Sword sure is Cloud Sorting at the moment. Though that aggressive rolling to win our fights has given us a fair bit of power here. It's letting us keep up with Million Inheritance of Thunder Wutsa. That was pretty scary. So, Twin Salo is locked. Don't know what's happening here, don't know what's happening here. Water Drop Erosion locked. Okay. So we have two Wurzers doing things that are unethical. We can't miss... can't miss all of it on four this time, right? If I get offered... If I get offered Mad Obsession or the Cloud Sword one, I just... I just take the Cloud Sword one, right? Cloud Sword Eating Dragon. Ask Cloud Sword Dragon the Heart. I just take that. Because it's just way better than Mad Obsession. And then we can, uh... Just take her Tier 5. And be pretty happy with things. It's pretty funny that it counts as a unrestrained sword. <laughs> oh man, the the perfectly planned assassin healing gets us. Ooh. Ah. I did betray it in a previous game, so understandable. Uh, I should probably just break through here.
Oh. Okay. I'll just click Mad Obsession then. I'll just click Mad Obsession. Easy. And then, I don't know, on five, should I, should I roll for, uh, should I roll for the legendary dragon that eats the weather? Or should I just take her tier five, because it's already very good? I attempted to roll. Her tier 5 is way worse than that, right? <laughs> it's just way better than her tier 5. I think I roll. Uh, the only other thing is I can try and get, like, the unrestrained treasures from the Dao. Yeah, another Mad Obsession would also work pretty well. Still cruising. Mostly not interested in spending rolls now. Spent so many rolls early that saving rolls here makes a lot of sense to me. Doesn't matter if we hemorrhage a little bit of destiny over the next turn or two. So if I see Mad Obsession, do I keep rolling? Or do I just take double Mad Obsession? Call it a day. Play this like divine power elixir. Which I'll remember to actually keep this time. So I can do that if I so choose. Double mad possession seems busted. It seems a little bit busted. It is kind of like having her sword plus one cultivation, as well as giving you relevant mad uh, relevant cloud sword. Cloud sword? Unrestrained cloud. Sorry. I just think of them as the same thing now. Alright, we're not going for that, that's cute. We have a lot more life than her. She's rolling on three, I guess. I was the dragon all along. Aw. That's encouraging. Pretty weird that she's staying on three. Can't say I really get it. I guess she really wants drag moons and hasn't found any yet. Still there, it seems like a good way to lose all your destiny. Here's a Moonshade, which means... I mean, that by itself makes the, uh, the Cloud Sword... Cloud Sword Dragon look good, right? Oh, right, I'm Cloud Sword, I can play this. <laughs> <laughs> can just put this in my deck right now. <laughs> I was not going to put this in. <laughs> I, I straight up forgot that I'm actually Cloud Sword, and I can just play Moonshade. I'm I, I, I'm thinking of this character the same way I think of uh, Li Jianxin, the blacksmith, where I just treat Moonshade as a card that I can't play until tier five. I'm just like, ah, oh, this is this is this is no good to me. I I can't use this. Whereas it's actually like it's actually just something I can play. Damn these garnets. Exactly. Exactly, Senpai. Cloud 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 Sword Moonshade is not a garnet here. Yeah. It's actually just the card I wanted to draw. I wasn't expecting Spirit Elixir there. In fact. There's a lot going on I wasn't really expecting. This uh, regard is maybe not ideal. I'm getting pierced the start though. Hard to deny that that's happening. Alright, small loss is fine. Four cuts. 
these for. Oh, I don't have time for this. No, not that one. Okay, we'll just take Mad Obsession then. It's not the Mad, it's not the one I wanted, but... Alright, let's find things to replace this crap with. Wouldn't even know it was a tier 5 board. We're not Divine Power Gamers. At the moment, we're Divine Power Gamers. I sort of need twos and Dragon Room and a Flashwind. And then we can just play the same board we played last game. Not even attacking once each turn. You know, that's true. It's a good point. And when you put it like that, it does seem bad, but then, you know, scoreboard. <laughs> uh, okay, let's do some rolling here. I have no twos and I must scream. Actually, Pierce the Stars kind of good here. Okay, I have a two, I no longer need to scream. See, Pierce the Star could have been good with this uh, Rock Spirit Sword. I forgot this card was even in the game. <laughs> um, I think I would rather roll on... I think I would rather roll on an Omen turn. What am I hoping to do with this exactly? <laughs> like, it's good to upgrade all my unrestrained swords. It's kind of bad to upgrade Divine Power Elixir. Not that bad. Oh. That was the best one. Probably kills, right? That was the best upgrade. Oh, she's extremely fast. Unexpectedly fast. Okay, stop murdering me, please. Well, it would have killed. We got there, though. Alright. Ooh. This is so much worse than all the treasures they've added. <laughs> right? It's just like really... I should probably hold on to it. But... This is a four, five hit now. Isn't this actually really good? <laughs> I'm revising my position to this being really good. Ah. I see. Luckily her board is otherwise undeveloped. She's playing Cloud Sword cards and not unrestrained, so that's good. Good enough. One, two, three. Actually, I probably can't beat the zero, huh? She 
does seem to be a dragon. That could be an issue for us. It's pretty stupid that it can be multiple, uh, that it ends up being multiple unrestrained swords when it upgrades. That's such a, such an obscene thing to put on a card. <laughs> the good news is she is playing the crappy cloud sword stuff and not the, not the really dangerous unrestrained stuff. Though this hits for a million, right? Okay, well, nice, nice dragon, idiot. It's, this is, this is looking kind of blessed. I think I did want that inspiration sword. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I'm sure taking my sweet time. I would like to not be playing any of this stuff that I have in my deck. Does just playing a one deal more damage than Divine Power Elixir? Sword Spirit Cloud. Let's see. If I make 6G, it's a 7 hit. With 8 attack ups. Oh, with 3 attack up. 7 times. times 8. It's quite a lot of damage. It's quite a lot of damage. That I can get out very quickly. Wait, this guy is out of the game and he's still kind of murdering me here. I mean, I guess not. But he put up a more real fight than I'm comfortable with. Here's this a uh, touch guy sure being here for a while. All right, well, <laughs> so much for that. <laughs> Perfect. Game's stupid. I don't think I'm playing this if I'm doing this. Chainsaw, probably out again. All right, I'm just burning these. <clears throat> None too shabby. Excuse me. Oh my god, my brain. I think I just combine the ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think I'm actually this Divine Power Elixir at this point. Do I need to go first? Three, four, five, six? Kind of. Divine Power Elixir is kind of dead. I'm not giving up on this, though. Attack plus four, make an additional hit for each G. Wait, it does 8 damage per hit? Oh wait, that's really good. I don't know if it's better than this, but it's very good. I think I underestimated it. We are kind of strong though. <laughs> we are kind of strong. Don't really need this last two. 
can't play more Flashmans. But what if it was this? Like, if I play attack plus four, right, does that mean it does eight damage, and then for every chi, it does an extra hit, so it's seven times eight? Is that what that means? Who, who has played with this card? Who knows how card works? This guy's doing the same thing. Like, if I play Spiritage Elixir, then this, then this, do I do 7 times 8? 11 times 7? Okay, so it's not quite enough yet. Not quite enough yet. Pretty close. Oh damn, he actually went first and that's upgraded. Yikes. I am so slow compared to him. I feel like I'm just dead here. <laughs> uh, he's taking a couple of turns to set up. But don't I just like get immediately deleted here? Don't I get immediately deleted here? That's pretty delicious. But looks like I'm actually good. My zero is better than your zero. Get get destroyed by the old school. Unrestrained was good all along. The unrestrained was in our hearts all along. Yeah. Ooh, if she latexes and I play this, I get four extra hits. Should we try it? <laughs> She plays the Lapex. This turns into 12 hits. I don't think I need Inspiration Sword. Just turn three kill. One, two, three. And you have to try it, right? Yes! <laughs> it's gonna rule. <laughs> oh no, I have so many debuffs. What am I gonna do? Whee! <laughs> oh, Alright. <laughs> Uh, we got it. Uh. Now I'm not running the same game here. It seems completely incorrect to run it back here. This kind of does a fair bit though, doesn't it? Find these. Not Dharma. Probably just eat everything to go first. One, two, three. Like this. Run the same board and finish with Dharma. Ah, too late. <laughs> I kicked it. I think I'm just gonna do this, and that should kill him, I think. Unless he finds more unrestrains. This is just perfect for one fight. Yeah, I don't know. It's possible that my other board just kills him, but let's let's just get the fuck out of here. I say we just get out of here. 
I mean, the Wurzer's board seemed kind of bad, all things considered. So, maybe it was just bad. That one does not fuck around, huh? Actually, if I just combine these zeros, he'd have died there. I don't think it's likely to matter, though. Nah, it super doesn't matter. Alright. Well, we didn't play with any cool new cards that game, but we did hard roll for Mad Obsessions. That is the first time I've got- I just got the achievement for coming first with the Unrestrained. 